An average force of 125 Newton is applied on a machine gun firing bullets each of mass 10 gram at the speed of 250 meter per second to keep it in position. The number of bullets fired per second by the machine is. Okay, see, uh, we'll do uh, similar questions. Um, very, very similar questions like this. So, um, in order to make sure that uh, we acquire speed in doing, first we'll try to understand this question in a subjective way, right? And then the coming questions, we shall improve our speed of solving problems, keeping this as a reference. So, this question, we'll try to clear it, um, in a, you know, try to solve it in a very clear, subjective way. So, what is given to us? Mass of bullet, which is 10 gram, right? So, mass of bullet is giving us 10 gram, which is 10 into 10 to the power minus 3 kilogram. What is initial velocity of bullet? It is 0. What is final velocity of bullet? It launches out at 250 meter per second. So, what is change in velo velocity of bullet? It is the final velocity minus the final velocity minus the initial velocity. So, delta V of bullet is actually final velocity, which is 255 minus initial velocity which is 0 so 250 minus 0 see now what we'll do is what we'll do is to get much clarity on the question i'm going to use one extra term here so what we'll do is we'll say that mass of one bullet is equal to 10 to the power 10 into 10 to the power minus 3 kilogram Initial velocity of one bullet is zero. Final velocity of one bullet is zero. Therefore, change in velocity of one bullet is this. And therefore, delta V of one bullet is 250 meter per second. And by impulse theorem, delta P of one, when I say impulse theorem, impulse momentum theorem, delta P of one bullet is equal to M into delta V of one bullet. If that is the case, then we can say that delta P of X bullets would be equal to X into delta P of one bullet. Straightforward unitary method, right? If one pen, if one pen cost two rupees, then two pen will cost two into cost of one pen. Simple, that logic, right? Now let us assume that let the number of bullets fired in one second be x. Let the number of bullets be fired in one second be x. In which case, in which case, what would be delta p of x bullets be? That will be equal to that will be equal to x into delta p of one bullet, right? Now. What is delta P of one bullet? Delta P of one bullet is equal to mass into delta V of one bullet, which is 10 into 10 to the mass of bullet into delta V of one bullet, 10 into 10 to the power minus 3, my bad, kilogram into 250 meter per second, which is equal to 10 into 10 to the power minus 2 into 250 into kilogram meter per second. So, this is into 250 into 10 to the power minus 2 kilogram meter per second. Okay. Now, having said this, let us write down, okay, now let us not use n here because you may get confused with Newton, which would mm, cause much confusion. Okay. So, delta P of x bullets is equal to x into 250 into 10 to the power minus 2 kilogram meter per second. Now see, what is what is impulse is equal to? Impulse by impulse momentum theorem is impulse is change in momentum and is at the same time is equal to F into F into delta T, right? So, so impulse can also be written as F into delta T and therefore impulse by time is equal. Well, my bad. We can say that P is equal to F into T and therefore P by T is equal to P by T is equal to F. So instead of F, F bullets, F of X bullets, instead of P, P of X bullets. So now we have F of X bullets is equal to delta P of X bullets by T. And what is the time here? The time here is one second. So if the number of bullets fired say is equal to X, then F bullets in one second will be equal to delta P of one bullet into into X the whole upon T. And what is T here? T is equal to one second. So let us see. What is delta P of X bullets? Delta P of X bullets is from here X into 250 into 10 to the power minus 2 into kilogram meter per second. 
now the whole here is time is per second and the according to the question it is the force here is given to us as 1 125 newton so if we bring that value here if we bring that value here 125 newton instead of newton instead of newton i'll write it as 125 into what is 1 newton 1 kilogram meter per second square right see now dimension no units make sense kilogram by kilogram is 1 meter per second square second 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 square meter per second square cancels now all what we get is 125 is equal to x into 250 times 10 to the power minus 2 therefore 125 by 250 into 10 to the power minus 2 is equal to x right and therefore x is equal to 12500 by 250 so, so what we get is x is equal to x is equal to 50 therefore the number of bullets fired is equal to 50 see this is the I would say the subject to be the elaborate way to understand the question. In the coming questions, we won't do uh, in this detail. We just skip the basic steps and try moving, you know, the try to do the questions faster.